it's a beautiful Wednesday morning. It's the sort of Wednesday morning that uh, we in British Columbia dream of. Not a cloud in the sky, blue sky. It's um, 16 degrees already in Canadian and 61 in American. <coughs> Excuse me. It's really, really pretty. Uh, it's been a, a great time. The first thing I've got to make sure everybody knows about is that I may or may not be broadcasting this weekend. And the reason I say that is that I have to have a tooth extracted on Thursday night, Thursday evening. So I'm pretty sure I won't be broadcasting Thursday. <laughs> um, and unless I'm feeling really great, um, probably not Friday or Saturday either, but I'm going to try for Saturday um, and just take the pressure off myself for Thursday or Friday, um, just so that I've got time just to cope with the uh, pain of that. So, and maybe the infection. Unfortunately, that last time they went near this particular tooth, the whole of my jaw got infected and uh, I had a terrible time for over a week um, so I'm praying that that won't happen again uh, but on the other hand I know I'm gonna have a face out here so, <laughs> very pretty <laughs> so I'm sure that you will understand that and I will put a note up on the uh, dearmamacell.com page where the schedule is just to make sure that I've uh, made a note to say that um, you know, I won't be on Thursday or Friday. Now, if by any chance, by Friday, if I'm feeling good, um, I will definitely do a spontaneous um, broadcast. You know, I'll, I'll put a note up on Facebook and Twitter. So it's very important, by the way, if you are a viewer and think you might be coming over to watch us on Tiny Chat, do our Tiny Chats. Um, just make sure that you are have liked the Facebook page um, or a follower of Twitter because those are the two places I normally put up the um, notification if I do a spontaneous uh, broadcast. We had great fun last night. We had two new people come in, which is always great fun. I love it when new people come in. Um, one of them it was Katula and she was from and is still <laughs> from Washington DC so it was great to have her come on in and she did a great job of just joining in and we love that. The other was um, somebody called Shock WW. I'd love to tell you whether this was male, female or where they're from but they chose not to share that so just a big question mark be careful. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll see, time will tell whether this is a person we can trust or not. Um, <clears throat> so, and it may just be that it's somebody who chooses not to, you know, do that sort of stuff. And I understand that from one point of view. Um, but it's very difficult when you don't know if you're talking to a male or a female or how old they are because you don't get a sense of, of the comments that they're making. I don't know if any of you have noticed that when you're on the broadcasts. When you've sort of got an idea of the age group of that person, you can cut them a bit more slack or you can actually uh, hear what's going on. And in a lot of cases, um, such as yeah, we've got a couple of young people who are very, very regular followers. Um, and what I find so fascinating is their wisdom. You know, it's amazing that age does not define wisdom sometimes. And uh, I've been very fortunate that we've attracted a couple of young people that really are quite wise and have a wonderful sense of humor, which <laughs> is an important part if you're going to join to any chat, I've discovered. Um, they do seem to enjoy so much making <laughs> my life uh, somewhat amusing. Yeah, they, they, they challenge themselves to make me laugh a lot, which I love. 
<laughs> it just really is very, very um, and disconcerting at times. You know, you're trying to say something serious, like now, and then they start with one of their comments, and then now I start, I will start to laugh, and then, of course, once I've started to laugh, it's a little bit infectious. <laughs> um, but it's good fun. It's it's good, genuine fun, if you know where I'm coming from on that one. I love it. So anyway, uh, it was really good. So this is a beautiful week. Um, I've been really, really busy at work. Insanely busy. Uh, uh, but that just is what it is. And I'm just trying to keep myself in balance with that. Uh, getting stressed out is not going to make anything go faster or get more accomplished. So it took me two days, Monday, Tuesday, to do a major goal that I had for this week. Uh, so that is now done. I just kept at it until it was finished. And I finished it yesterday, so that's good. So now I can get on with the rest of my week. balance is one of the most important things that uh, that I've discovered about my life and you know one of one of the conversations that we had on tiny chat last night was um, when the voices in your head are very negative always criticizing you or saying you won't make it or do whatever then you know it's it's very easy to get depressed so it's our job as healthy adults um, to counteract any negativity that goes on uh, so for example I could sit at the office and go oh my gosh oh my gosh I'm never gonna get this done I'm never gonna get this done uh, which is normal it's human nature but as first as I hear that happening, I'm also saying, just relax. It's going to take as long as it takes, and you'll be just fine. You'll get this done. And then I don't know if you've noticed, and some of you may <laughs> may laugh about this. I don't know. But you're on this mission to get something done, and then somebody comes in, you know, who has no knowledge of how busy you are or what's going on. And they ask for something quite simple, and you snap at them. Have you ever done that? It's like, how dare you disturb me when I'm this busy? Well, the joke is they didn't know that they were doing that. And so I'd, I'm very aware now, when I am that busy, that if anybody asks me a question or asks for help, the first thing I need to do is smile. That's <laughs> not going to help you rather than what? I'm good at that one. Right. Why are you ruining my day? Um, and that's just really control. And how many of you are really good at the passive-aggressive stuff? you don't say what rock did you crawl out of and but your look says it and, and it's you know it's just as damaging as as the comment Sometimes there's, when those people look at you like that, uh, it can be quite hurtful. It's like, excuse me, I've got a job to do as well, you know, 
the only one with a job to do here. <coughs> so. And I don't care. I've tried just about I've tried just about every tactic I know to be polite. You know, and say I'm sorry to disturb you, but I need to know X, Y, and Z. And just in trying to be polite seems to frustrate them as well. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> Beyond me. So we've got um, a couple of people leaving work this week going to seem quite strange. And that two people leave at the, the same time. You know, we, we don't, we have quite a small turnover of staff in our company, or in the time that I've been there anyway. Um, it's, it's not high at all. And to suddenly have two people leave in the same month, One's retiring, to be fair, the other's just moving on. Um, seems quite strange. But hopefully they will move on to bigger and better things in their lives. Retirement's got to be a bigger and better thing for at least the lady who's doing it. And I always think, boy, you've earned it, you know, as have I. So, you know, when you get to this age, it's really quite strange. And I, I'm certain that some of you will understand where I'm coming from. You know, when you're in your 20s, you know, 65 seems so far away, and it is. When you're in your 40s, suddenly it doesn't, it seems a long way away, but not quite as far away as you'd like. And the next thing you know, you're in your 50s, and then, wow, boy, does that go quickly. And I'm just realizing that in about a month, I'm going to be 66. I don't feel 66. Now, there are times my body feels like 66. <laughs> but I don't feel 66. You know, I still feel quite active in my mind and quite um, capable in most things. The only thing that does let me down every now and then, I must say, is my body. I can't do certain things as well as I used to. Oh, and my mind. Yeah, that's another one. And the interesting thing to me is that by the time you guys get to my age, I would think that the average age will have increased even more. So, Whereas I'm hopeful that I will be able to make it quite well into my 80s. Uh, you guys probably will make it to your late 80s or early 90s, or maybe even greater than that. You know, in, in my parents' generation, people who reached 100, they, they were very few and far between. Um, but I've got a feeling that more and more people will be hitting 100 now with the lifestyle choices we're making and the awareness we have of our health and the medical uh, support that we have. So it's going to be really interesting to see um, in your journey, in your lifetime, uh, where, where that average age goes to. Then you've got a bigger problem. Because in your children's lifetime, 
you've got the cost of looking after all of you that are going into your hundreds. So be aware. So I'm going to have a great day, as long as I can keep balance, and I'm looking forward to that. I hope you all have a wonderful time. Thank you so much for watching and listening. I really do appreciate it, and I will hope and pray that I will be back uh, doing the broadcast by Saturday evening at the latest. Um, but if I can't, I'll put a note up on uh, everywhere I can think of, just so that you don't know. It's dear Mama Sal saying, thank you so much. Always a pleasure to talk with you. Bye for now. Thank you.